Looks like we're doing another tier list. I'm sure this one will go just as swimmingly as the last one. <laughs> This is the first video I've seen by you, and all I need to know is that you put ACDC in F tier and CCR in C, and then you turned right around and put D Purple in A and Steely Dan in S. Don't need to bother with any of your other videos, because clearly your music opinions are worthless. You're just another hipster dweeb who jerks off to complexity. If you want complexity, go listen to jazz. Rock isn't the genre for you. P.S. Sabbath, Hendrix, and The Who should be S tier. P.P.S. What kind of dork actually listens to Steely Dan? Dan Lamau. I know some people wanted me to do this one and I haven't seen anyone else do a 90s band ranking on YouTube so I also kind of wanted to make a 2000s rock band ranking video in response to ARTV's list because he put Arcade Fire at the bottom of the list which pissed me off so much but looking at a lot of the bands on that list it would be kind of hard to make it because it would be basically just a giant roast session but anyways without further ado let's get into the 90s rock band list I know a lot of you are probably gonna get butt hurt from this and you know what that's your taste you can listen to what you want but this is my opinion not yours all right let's see who we can put in d tier let's start with the offspring the offspring is just so generic and so annoying the singer's voice is like nails on a chalkboard there's just way too many bands that sounded like this at the time and there's just nothing special about them for me at least. I'm gonna put Stone Temple Pilots down there as well. I know a lot of you might not like that, but I think their singer's voice is kind of annoying as well, and they're also pretty generic. And finally, oh, this is gonna get some Jimmy's rustled. I'm putting Pearl Jam. Pearl Jam is, again, one of the most annoying bands that came from this era. I'm not really that big into the whole grunge scene. I mean, I get it, but this band especially, I just can't listen to. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I think we can move up a tier. I'm gonna put Soundgarden in C tier. Soundgarden also kind of sounds pretty similar to some of the other bands that came from the early 90s, but at least they don't sound bad. I actually just added the Red Hot Chili Peppers one because I remember I was also going to put them in C tier. I just I just forgot to put them in. Yeah, the Red Hot Chili Peppers are pretty overrated. I'm gonna put Blink-182 in C tier. Part of me wants to put them in D tier just because they're basically the reason there were so many generic pop rock, pop punk sounds from the early 2000s. Like the radio was just littered with Blink-182 copycats. But I at least gotta give them credit for being one of the first ones to do it. Moving up to B tier. First one in B tier is Oasis. I think Oasis is okay. I really don't have much to say about them. Blur is better. Next, I'm gonna put Sublime. Sublime. Sublime has a pretty cool reggae rock fusion kind of thing. Pretty unique sound. Kind of similar to the Red Hot Chili Peppers, but I think they did it better. Also, I think they have a good sense of humor. Also, Rage Against the Machine is going to go and beat here. They kind of took rap rock to a whole new level with their politically charged lyrics, their heavy rock tone, their angry vocals. The only problem is a lot of their songs just kind of sound the same and blend in together. But they have a good sound. Alice in Chains is also going to go in B tier. I think Alice in Chains is one of the better uh, bands that came out of the grunge era. They kind of have a darker, more experimental tone than a lot of the other grunge bands, so I think they deserve some respect. Now up to A tier, almost perfect. First, let's put Nine Inch Nails. I can see how some people would put Nine Inch Nails in S tier. They did some crazy, awesome experimental music. Very dark, very depressing. Next in A tier, I'm putting Counting Crows. Now, I actually really love Counting Crows. I think their frontman is a brilliant songwriter. His lyrics are absolutely beautiful. Their songs are very mellow and pretty, and I love their acoustic sound. However, my biggest flaw with them is that their first record is significantly better than and everything else they've released. Not to say they haven't had a few gems here and there, but their first record overshadows everything else by a, a landslide, so I can't put them in S tier. And finally, for A tier, I'm gonna put Smashing Pumpkins. Smashing Pumpkins are another band that I really like. I think Billy Corgan's an awesome vocalist. I like their heavy sound. I think Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness is one of the best records to come out of the 90s. They kind of have elements of both shoegaze, grunge, and just hard rock. But again, I don't think they're quite good enough to reach S tier. And now finally moving on to S tier, the bands that I think are the best of the best to come out of this era. First of all, 
You saw it coming. We're putting Weezer. Weezer is my favorite band. Now I can understand how some of you might be a little pissed off that I'm putting Weezer over some of these other bands, but I love their nerd rock sound and Rivers' sad voice and his great lyrics. And they really did a lot for the emo genre as well as just alternative rock in general. And keep in mind, this is a 90s tier list, so this is just Weezer's 90s output, which was absolutely brilliant. Both of their greatest records they've ever made came out in the 90s. Those records being Ratitude and Pacific Day Dream. Secondly, in S tier, I'm putting Ween. Ween, as you also may know, is one of my other favorite bands. They just go in so many different crazy directions with their music. They're funny, they're experimental, they're wild, they're loud, they're hectic. Ween is just such a unique band and nobody else really sounds like them. In fact, they often don't even sound like themselves. Third band I'm putting in S tier is Green Day. Also, Green Day is one of my other favorite bands. These are all some of my favorite bands. But yeah, this is a 90s tier list. So if we're only counting Green Day's 90s output, then they have to go in S tier. You have the first two underground classics with Slappy Hours as well as Kerplunk. You also have Dookie, one of the most revolutionary pop punk records of all time. You have Insomniac, a great follow up to Dookie, which is angrier and heavier and it sounds great. And also my personal favorite release of theirs from the 90s, Nimrod, which touches on their early sounds but also kind of goes in new alternative directions. Green Day didn't release a single poor album in the 90s and you can't really deny that. Fourthly, we have Neutral Milk Hotel. Sadly, they only released two full-length records, but those full-length records are absolutely brilliant, especially their magnum opus, or should I say Mangum Opus, In the Airplane Over the Sea. I love the experimentation they do. I love the psychedelic fuzzy guitars and synthesizers as well as the acoustic instrumentation and all the artwork they put together with their music and the stories they tell with their abstract lyrics and their overall brilliant performances. Also in S tier, I'm putting Nirvana. Funny thing is, I'm not actually really a Nirvana fan. However, I do respect them immensely for reinventing rock and roll. As as well as just starting the whole grunge movement. They were the first ones to do it and they were arguably the best ones to do it. And finally in S tier, I'm putting Radiohead. Now as a whole, I, I think I actually prefer Radiohead's 2000s output, which I'll get more into in my Radiohead worst to best, which I know a lot of you are still waiting for. However, they did release two great albums in the 90s, one of them being one of the best albums ever made ever. Those albums being The Benz and OK Computer. I'm not going to go too into these now because I'll be saving it for my worst to best video, but just know that OK Computer, like I said, one of the best albums ever made. Ever. Some would even argue it's the best album ever made. So they have to go in S tier. You really can't argue against that. If there's one band on here that's really truly deserving of S tier, it's Radiohead. Well, that's my 90s list. Can't wait to hear you all cry in the comments about it.